It's the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Wednesday, 9-11. I'm James Spann. Alabama's weather not changing much in the short term, but a cold front doing here on Friday. Saturday morning starting to look pretty nice. Uh, we might see some low 50s up in the northeastern corner of the state, and the tropics are active first hurricane of the season out there. We'll talk about that. Let's look out the window this morning. These are some of the sky cam shots captured at the insane hour of 5 a.m. That's a Gadsden sky cam. Looks like a bit of fog over the city. Otherwise, the sky is clear. There's a look at downtown Fayette and the Alabama Gulf Coast. Beach Boulevard, seen there from the Phoenix All Suites. Weather down there looks nice and quiet for the next uh, five to seven days. Upper ridging across the southeast United States. The westerlies are up north. Temperatures early this morning feel pretty good out over the uh, some of the western states. And notice the really cold air up there over uh, eastern Canada. See some 30s up there. and It's going to turn much cooler over the eastern half of the nation late this week. There's a watch warning map. Flash flooding issues again for parts of the southwest, including Nevada, Utah, Arizona, New Mexico. Other than that, pretty quiet. Looks like a little heat advisory around Detroit. Severe weather possibilities for today. Got a slight risk from near Chicago to Maine. An advance of a cold front. And tomorrow, again, parts of the northeast with a risk of severe storms. Here's the rain for the next five days. This carries us through Monday morning of next week. Not very much. Showers pretty isolated at best. Uh, maybe the better chance on Friday with a cold front. Even then, rain amount should be light and spotty. Bigger numbers back in the southwest. But the tropics are indeed active, and by golly, those guys upgraded Umberto this morning at about 4 o'clock. So uh, it is not the, the latest first hurricane on modern record. It just misses that uh, mark by a few hours. But still, it's a very, very late starting season. Uh, there's a look at Umberto packing maximum sustained winds of 75 miles an hour, a minimal hurricane. It'll be moving north. It's going to curve back to the west, and then from there it goes north again. It'll just be out in the middle of nowhere, basically. No threat to land. Uh, this is Gabrielle. Uh, boy, the convection is gone. It's just a swirl that's just uh, east of Baham the, uh, or Bermuda. I'm sorry, east of Bermuda. Uh, top winds 50 miles an hour, but obviously it's all discombobulated there with the convection being away from the center. Uh, that'll be racing northeast up toward the Canadian Maritimes late this week. And uh, look at this one now. This is that uh, disturbance uh, that is in the Caribbean, 93L, moving into Central America and the Yucatan. Latest uh, model guidance is kind of keeping that thing farther south, kind of meanders down there in the Bay of Campeche, then comes into Mexico early next week. And uh, we'll see how the GFS handles that. Uh, most models bring it up to tropical storm status. This would be the I-Storm Ingrid. Here's the GFS. This is the OZ run, valid at 1 o'clock this afternoon at 500 millibars. Upper high a little west of here. And down below that, I just don't think today is going to be different from recent days. High around 90, and you might see a speck or two on radar this afternoon, but showers very isolated. There's the high-res NAM, valid at 7 o'clock this evening. Not showing a whole lot. Tomorrow... Same kind of thing. Hey, look at the heat wave breaking for Chicago. Nice, cool, northerly flow up there. But for us, again, high around 90, showers only isolated. Friday, here comes the cold front, and it should be relatively inactive. Uh, again, we're going to mention the chance of a few scattered showers, probably nothing beyond that. Um, up in the Tennessee Valley, they'll start to feel the cooler air Friday. Uh, for us, highs probably in the upper 80s. And then Saturday, as we kick off the weekend, that nice cool trough is over the uh, upper part of the Atlantic coast. Upper high goes back over toward Dallas-Fort Worth. And down below that, it should be a really, really nice day. And uh, Saturday morning looks cool. Look at those numbers. I mean, really, uh, this is suggesting maybe a lot of people are going to be in the 50s here. And 40s up in Tennessee. Uh, man, that'll be a great start to the weekend. And then during the day, it'll be sunny, low humidity. High, low to mid-80s. Sunday, uh, looks like I think we'll just leave that dry. We talked about maybe a shower over southwest Alabama, but I think we'll just kind of leave it dry, comfortable. Highs in the middle 80s. Now, Monday, uh, down south, that should be Ingrid that is nearing the Mexican coast, well south of Brownsville, Texas. The latest guidance 
shifting farther south with that, that might lessen the chance of good moisture feeding up in here because we'll go to Tuesday and you can see that looks, uh, you know, pretty dry for us, maybe a shower. And then uh, Wednesday, earlier runs, it's shown a really deep moisture plume coming in here with a good rain event. Now, the idea is kind of off the table with hardly any moisture. So there's a lot of uncertainty next week. We'll just have to see how Ingrid, you know, develops and where it goes. We'll still mention a chance of showers on Tuesday and Wednesday, but it's kind of iffy based on this run. We'll check the end of the forecast September the 26th. Westerlies are dipping farther south, troughing in the northwest, troughing around the Great Lakes, and it uh, uh, looks pretty quiet for us. If that's right, and that's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog. Next video here by 4 o'clock today. And if you can, catch us on ABC 3340 News this evening on the live stream or the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless.